Some viewers may find the following video disturbing. Viewer discretion is advised. Hey everybody, Jimmy Cactus here. Welcome back to the channel. Well, today we're gonna go through what I call the uh, three mortal sins, okay? I didn't get these actually from the Bible, uh, but I'll tell you briefly what they are. First mortal sin is, uh, and especially if you're married or you have a sister or you live at home with your mom, Second mortal sin is when, of course you're the barbecue king of the house, so when you cook something on the barbecue, make sure that you turn off the gas and the burners, okay? Otherwise, next time you go to use it, it'll be empty, and that ruins the barbecue. The third mortal sin is the one that I committed just recently, and that's going to be down here on the jet ski trailer, and I'm going to show you what that's all about, what happened, and how to fix it. Stay tuned. All right, so this is what they call a jet ski swing arm, okay? Not to be confused with... Um, <laughs> most important thing is that once you've got your trailer hooked up to your truck or wherever you're gonna pull it with, um, you have to move the swing arm into the up position, okay? From here, okay? Uh, you pull it out, and swing it up and it locks into place okay and then you drive off and you're good to go now here's what happens if you're a knucklehead like me hey don't be afraid to admit your mistakes it's what makes you a better man well i done went and drove it like that and tore up the wheel i gotta show you what happens when you tear up the wheel like a knucklehead okay so get a good look at that. That wheel is torn up, son. And that's what happens. What? All right, the first thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna put the swing arm in the opposite up position and lock it. And then I went and on Home Depot online, got me this badass replacement wheel. There's the part number. For you guys who gotta do it, who joined the three commitments club. <laughs> 28912. 28912. Okay? Alright. This one even comes with a fresh brand new bushing. What you might want to do is maybe try it out first just to make sure it's gonna fit on there. Let's see. All right, so this bolt actually goes through nicely. It looks like with the washers, it's gonna be just enough room. All right, cool. Now, before we put this wheel on though, we're gonna do something really quick and that's gonna make it last a long time and that is we're gonna grease them up. The two tools that you're gonna need now to tighten this up is, this is a uh, 19 millimeter, okay? 19 millimeter metric, which is also the same size as three quarter inch SAE. These are actually the second most metric SAE wrenches sizes that fit. All right, let's get to tightening. We'll get the 19 inch on, and we'll get the three quarter on. Maybe that'll give you a better view. And we'll start to crank it down. Now you notice as you crank in, it's actually going to squeeze the flange in a little bit more and give it a spin to make sure it's spinning free. Okay, so far so good. Okay, I'm starting to get some resistance now. As long as the bolt protrudes right on the outside of the nut, then you know you're pretty much in the neighborhood. A little bit of play that way, but we're gonna go just a bit more. Okay, that's nice and snug. And look at that wheel, how free she turns. All right, now the most important thing with these swing jacks is when you're done, 
when you've got the trailer locked up nice and tight don't forget don't commit the third mortal sin pull the lock and lock up the trailer hey thanks for watching if you like it give me a comment be great if you subscribe great if you like otherwise don't worry i'll still make some more <laughs>